Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with a new recording of the complete organ music of César Franck, performed by Olivier Penin at the organ of Saint Clotilde, Paris. Well, this is really like a big deal. Um, this was recorded, let me see, in 2020 and uh, then 2021, basically, for the most part. Um, and I'm very excited about this. Why? Because the organ at Saint Clotilde was César Franck's own organ. And this is an opportunity to hear this music, theoretically, as close to what Franck imagined it might sound like. But there's a problem. The real problem has been that historically that organ was hugely altered and redesigned. I mean, it was increased from like 41 stops or so when, when Franck had it to about 73 today. So there are many changes and many changes that it underwent over the course of the 19th and early 20th century. So uh, let's, I want to go through that a little bit. It's a fascinating story because, you know, organ music is as much about the instrument as it is about the performer. These are very fine performances. I mean, they're really good. I, I, get, don't get me wrong. They're very, very beautiful. The Trois Chorales, particularly, I thought were just gorgeous. The Grand Pièce Symphonique is grand and symphonique. And, oh, I mean, this is wonderful stuff. It's absolutely gorgeous music. Um, and the three discs are divided into, into different categories. The anagogical organ, which is sort of the religious sort of organ thing, the symphonic organ, and then the romantique, the romantic organ. What all that means, I have no idea, because it's all franc and it all sounds like franc. But <clears throat> the point I want to make is that this organ has had many famous, famous titulaires, people who were in charge of the organ music at Saint Clotilde, including Tournemire and Langlais and 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 people like that. And the most recent restoration, which took place in 2005, was undertaken with the participation of uh, Monsieur Penin, Olivier Penin, or Penin, or however you pronounce it. It doesn't matter. Let's call it Penin. It's easier. And so he was involved in creating the current sound of the organ, which sound was designed, because this is the historical performance era, to restore it as much as possible while retaining, you know, the best bits of the various other restorations, but restoring it to something that could approximate the original sound of the organ. Now, the original sound of the organ is, is fascinating. It was designed by Aristide Cavaillé-Cole, the great 19th century French organ builder, who conceived of the symphonic organ, that is, an organ which could approximate the sounds of orchestral instruments and the sound of the orchestra generally. Now, it always sounded like an organ. I mean, who are we kidding? But he designed many, many stops to imitate the sounds of orchestral instruments, and particularly strings. And one of the things that I've always talked about is that in order to do that, he had to give his string pipes vibrato, which is how we know that orchestras in those days had vibrato in their string sections, because he was doing this in the 1830s originally. This was only Cavaillé calls sixth instrument. The earlier ones were, let's see, it says um, Notre Dame de Lorette, 1837. That was his first symphonic organ with a, a an orchestral string section and, you know, the approximation of a wind, wind device of a string section. It didn't sound very string-like, but that was the concept that mattered. Then Saint-Denis in 1841, um, Saint-Jean Saint-François in 1846, the Madeleine in 1846, and uh, Saint-Vincent de Paul in 1852. And then he did this one. Um, what was the year? It was inaugurated in 1859 by César Franck himself. And that was the this was where he did all that composition stuff. So after that, it was modified. It was modified in, let's see here, we have it. They actually tell us when it was modified. Um, in, in 1933, it was enlarged. Um, and in 1962, it was diddled again. And then in 1983, and then finally in 2005, the current restoration and the attempt to try and restore some of its original tonal character. Because, you know, organs are like anything else. They wear out. They're like, they're, they're mechanical devices. They're like cars. You know, your muffler goes and your 
you know, pistons need replacing, your spark plugs go dead. And, and this organ had all kinds of problems from successive restorations, which ruined some pipes. And, and, and of course, it was all about money, too, and whether it was kept in, in excellent working order. And all of those things are issues. And so now we have an opportunity an opportunity in this splendid three-disc set, beautifully recorded, to hear the organ, not as Franck imagined it, I mean, as Franck actually encountered it, but rather um, really probably in better shape than Franck ever encountered it. Um, because that's one of the things about these modern uh, historical reconstructions of things is that they tend to be done at a higher level than the originals because they have things like electricity and computers and you know tuning and things like that. So it's a marvelous opportunity if you love the Franck organ music, and I do. Um, I'm not going to need to even talk about the, the minute details of the performance because all you need to know is that they're, they're very, very good, extremely sympathetic, but it's the sound of the instrument in the cathedral, the basilica actually, it's a basilica of St. Clotilde, um, the sound of the instrument in the room that is going to matter. And so if you love the Franck organ music, as I said, you're going to want to hear this because it's, it's fascinating. And it's beautiful, and it's Franck, and I love it. And, you know, so what if I have 200 other versions of this? Um, it is a wonderful thing to have this opportunity. So go for it and give it a shot and see what you think. All right? That's all I can tell you. Keep on listening, friends, and thanks for joining me. Take care. <laughs>